Oh. Hey, good morning. Ooh, let's turn the light. Ooh, yeah, now y'all can really see. It's very bright. Look at my forehead beaming. Jeez, I have a huge forehead. It's okay, though. All right, good morning. It's Sharice here. I think I finally got a way to set everything up to where my phone won't fall, and this will be a little bit more successful. So I've been talking a lot about Black-owned businesses and supporting Black-owned businesses. Hey, Nola June. Nola June's looking to be like, who are you talking to? So I wanted to use some of my Black-owned business and show off a few of them in this video. So the first Black-owned business I have on in this video, this is going to be focused on minted cosmetics because I have to get ready for work. But this bonnet, isn't it just so cute? It's an Ankara-inspired, African-inspired bonnet. And I'm actually predominantly Nigerian. I found out from my DNA testing that I did um, last summer. Uh, I'm guessing it's pronounced Isokin Inofe. Isokin Inofe. Basically, just go to I-S-O-K-E-N-E-N-O-F-E dot -E -E com if you would like to purchase a bonnet. That's the website. Let me show you guys the card again. I think it's backwards. I don't know if it will flip for you guys, but here is all the information. And you can find them on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram to get yourself one of these bonnets. And I, I got the extra large size. So this has a lot of space for like, um, if I were to get a protective style, get some faux locks or some braids or anything like that. So yeah. Let's get started on the makeup. Like I said, we're going to focus on minted cosmetics. My face is cleansed and toned, but I haven't moisturized yet. And today for moisturizer, I'm going to use my Skin Active from Garnier Clearly Brighter Dark Spot Corrector. Because as you can see, I have a lot of acne scarring. Look, that's a fresh one. And I have a hormonal breakout going on right um, on my chin on this side. Like from the middle of my chin all the way over. A whole bunch of random pimples just showed up. So, let's get to moisturizing with this dark spot corrector. It's like a lotion, so I'm going to use it like a moisturizer today. And I rub it in all over my face. But yeah, April has been off to a really, really good start. I'm feeling very thankful and blessed that April is finally here because after this week of school, I go on spring break for a week, which I'm just going to be uh, helping out at Ulta. We're a little understaffed at my Ulta and um, a lot has kind of been going on with, um, I feel like I need to layer another moisturizer on top of this dark spot corrector. We're going to do that instead of putting more of this. Um, a lot has been going on. A lot of people have been transitioning in their personal lives which means that <clears throat> a lot of people have had to leave our Ulta well not even a lot of people but enough people to where it's kind of like we're a little understaffed I'm just gonna use this um, I got this as a gift at Ulta for helping out with the juice beauty event it's their stem cellular lifting neck cream I don't really have a saggy neck but I do have a lot of uh, creases in my neck like a lot of, uh, what is it called? Creases, wrinkles, I guess. You see? Yeah, you guys can see them. So I've just been using this to moisturize it. I do exfoliate my neck. I do mask my neck whenever I do my face now. I don't know how it got so creasy. I don't know if I like had my head down a lot when I was a kid. I can see that. But yeah. And let's put some more moisturizer on the face. Let's go in with one of my favorites, the Murad Skin Perfecting Lotion. And then we'll jump into makeup. I already kind of know what I want to do. That's one thing I've been doing is kind of planning ahead of time um, what I want to do with my makeup so that when I start, it doesn't take me as long. I'm not really deciding. So I pretty much have everything already picked out because, like I said, it's going to be focused on minted cosmetics so i'm going to be using their everyday eyeshadow palette and using one of their lipsticks i did the trio i might do another trio because they have a lot of colors well the whole thing about their company is that everything they have fits basically every skin tone 
Like that was their goal was that no matter what your skin tone was, you could find your perfect nude lipstick. But there's just so many that I think would look good on me. I only started with three. I might get three more. Okay. I feel like this side isn't as moisturized as this side. You see all these acne scars? Okay. Now that we're all moisturized, let's prime. For a primer today, let's use Black Radiance, which is a company that also caters towards women of color. And this is our True Complexion Shine Control Primer. I really like this primer. It's like a lotion, the way it comes out. It's white. <laughs> I feel like I put out a little bit too much. We're just going to work it into the skin. Work it into your skin but yeah i'm so thankful april is here it's gonna be a super busy month for me but i'm not mad at it i don't mind being busy because everything is planned like i know ahead of time what i have going on for each and every single weekend and that's the kind of busy i like to be i don't like to be the kind of busy where unexpected things happen and then i have to end up taking care of it and dealing with it that's not the kind of busy I like to be. I like to have planned busyness so that I can adequately prepare for it and not be stressed about it because I know that it's coming so I can prepare. I feel like that's almost everyone though. What's happening? Oh. Okay. Primer is on. Today we're going to be using the Huda Beauty Foundation. She is a woman of color and I'm still like playing around with it. It's a beautiful foundation and all. I love the shade that I have. But for me, it's not as long wearing on my skin as I want it to be as some of my other foundations. So Next black owned business, Julesy um, with um, Smart Brown Girl. This is one of her mugs. It says Stay Blessed and Unbothered. Bonnet, mug, and makeup. All black owned. So, yeah. Oh, I'm drinking a throat coat lemon echinacea tea. In the Huda Beauty Foundation, I wear shade Nutmeg 520. And we're going to do one pump on each side. One full pump over here and one full pump over here. I think that should be enough. And we're going to blend this out using this Real Techniques sculpting brush. It's supposed to be for like contouring, I guess, but I like to use it for foundation. So I just like to kind of disperse it all over, like dab it all over and then start blending. This is a full coverage foundation. It does have a fragrance to it, but the fragrance isn't that bad in my opinion. Like, it's kind of strong, but it goes away. Like, it's not... I don't think it's that bad. I'm not sensitive to fragrance, though. You can see I'm kind of using, like, padding motions to blend it in so I can get the most coverage. I've been trying to use a lot less foundation. Y'all know I'm notorious for using way too much foundation. But we stuck to two pumps today. And you notice that I pump it on the sides of my face because that's where I need the most coverage, the perimeters of my face. And then I can kind of work back to the center where I don't need as much coverage, which is the opposite of what they tell you to do for foundation. But that's what I need to do for my face. So this, I need maybe another miniature pump because this whole section is kind of like not covered i barely have any foundation on under my eyes and on my eyelids which is fine because i don't have any um discoloration there but i do need some more for this little corner of my face so 
I'm just gonna put a little bit more right there. And as you can see, a little bit goes a long way. So we're just gonna focus this on the bottom part of my face. Where I'm having this hormonal breakout. My hormones have been all, all out of whack, I feel. <sighs> okay. So foundation is on, and as you can see, it has a nice, like natural matte finish to it. It's such a pretty foundation. And like a little bit goes a long way. I'm really glad I have it. I'm still debating whether or not I would repurchase it, even though I have a bunch left in this bottle. Like, just because like, like I said, I, it's not as long wearing as some of my other less expensive foundations. So I'm still working with it, seeing what works best with her, you know? So yeah, again, Huda Beauty in shade 520 Nutmeg, 520G Nutmeg, Golden Undertone. Let's go ahead and set the face. So for school, I've been kind of cheating with setting my face and not using a loose powder. I've just been going in with pressed powders, a lighter one and a, a deeper one. So the powders I've been really loving are the NYX NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation in the shade Chestnut number 15, which is lighter than my skin tone, as you can see. And I've been using this to brighten up the center of my face, kind of to highlight, because you guys know I don't wear concealer. And so I literally just take this um, powder brush from Wet n Wild, or is it their foundation brush? I think it's their powder brush. I literally just press this in to all the places that I would, that you would highlight with concealer. So the high points of my face. So under my eyes, I do my eyelid as well, and it also kind of ends up covering my brow, which is fine with me. And I do a couple layers so that I can really set it. Cause like I said, we're not gonna go in with a loose powder, which is normally what I do to get my best set is go in with a loose powder. I really like this powder because it's mattifying, but it's not overly drying. And it gives a beautiful, smooth finish. And the shade is perfect. Like it's a little bit lighter than my skin tone and it's more of like a warm, light brown color, which goes great with my skin tone. Oh, another thing I forgot about this foundation is that it creases in my forehead. I forgot about that. That's one thing I don't like about it. I also like to set my mouth area. I do get a little bit of creasing in the corner of my mouth, only on this side. So we're gonna set that with the lighter powder. And then I'm gonna tap down my nose. So that kind of the highest point of my nose is covered in the lighter powder before we go in with the deeper powder on top of all this. So this is like my quick, cheap way I've been doing, my, like setting my foundation for school. Post a lot faster. So that's powder number one. Powder number two that I really like is the Black Radiant Soft Focus Finishing Powder, but I'm just gonna use one of their pressed powders because um, I love the Black Radiance powders. Yeah, so I have creasing. Can you see those creases in my forehead? So I have to press those out and then we'll set it. Let me grab a powder though. This one, I love the shade uh, Cafe, but it's kind of like almost empty. See how I've hit pan on it? So I feel like I should just go grab another shade so that it goes faster because we're on a roll here. Oh no, of course, all my other ones I've hit pan on too. What else do I have? Near me that I can use. Uh, I guess we'll use the bare minerals. I feel like when I use this though, and I don't um, use a loose powder, like it doesn't last as long. And this isn't as long lasting as my drugstore powders I found. I love the shade of it though, and I love the finish of it. So we're gonna have to mixy matchy.
I'm like hitting pan on all my powders, but I really don't want to buy any more because I can still use them, you know? It's like, yeah. So we're going to use first, we're going to go with the CoverGirl Queen pressed powder in the shade Q425 Medium Deep. This has a pretty red undertone, but it's okay because I'm going to go over it with the Bare Minerals just to really um, set my face because I have oil, more oily skin. Okay, so where I have these creases in my forehead, I'm just taking the brush I used for the foundation and I'm literally pressing out those creases. We don't want to set the creases that I have in my forehead naturally. So I'm going to take this CoverGirl Queen. Look, I'm hitting pan on all my powders, guys. I use a lot of powder. We're going to take this one because it's more long lasting to me than the um, Bare Minerals one. And I'm just going to go in on my forehead and really set it so that I don't get those creases. And you notice I'm using the same brush. This helps cut down on how much time it takes to do my makeup. And I'm lazy like that. If I can use the same brush to do multiple things, that's what I do. I also like to do my foundation and my base before I do my eyes. That's always the kind of person I've been. When it comes to makeup, I don't see that changing. And I always do my brows like towards the end of doing my base. Okay, so since this powder is deeper and it has a little bit more of a red undertone, you see I'm doing my whole forehead because we're trying to minimize the size of my forehead. So even though that lighter powder is kind of already in the center, I'm going over it with the deeper powder because, like I said, I have a big forehead. We don't need to, like, show it off. Also taking this um, in the hollows of my cheeks because, like I said, I use the lighter powder in the center and a deeper powder around the perimeters to kind of imitate highlighting, contouring like I use concealer and all that jazz. But your girl didn't because that's doing the most. I don't even do that for work. I just don't wear concealer. I just, I don't feel like I need it because like I said, I don't really have darkness or pigmentation under my eyes. It's all on the perimeter of my face. As y'all saw before I started kicking on the makeup. <laughs> Shout out to the one person that's still watching you. Hope you're learning things about how to kind of speed up your makeup process. I don't even know what time it is. I know that I'm doing fine on time though. Because I started this video at 5.20 I believe and I've only been on camera for 18 minutes so we're good. I need to leave at 6.20 because I really want to stop by Dunkin Donuts before I go to work today. And get an iced coffee and a wake up wrap. It's like my favorite thing. I also love the cinnamon donut there. I love a good cinnamon donut. Just gotta be careful. I have a story. I was eating the cinnamon donut and it's like um, like a dry powder cinnamon on the outside and I breathed it in while I was taking a bite of it and the powder got caught in my throat. And I was talking to a coworker and so I started coughing and the powder literally just like came right back out my mouth and got all over him. I was, I was like, I wasn't really embarrassed. I was more sorry for him. I was like, I don't, I don't get embarrassed easily. I was like, I am so sorry that I just like, I was like, we're friends forever now because you have some of my DNA on you as well as a whole bunch of cinnamon sugar powder. So shout out to you, Coach G. And our birthdays are 10 days apart, so I feel like, I almost feel like low-key he's like my brother in a way. The brother I never had. Alright, so now with the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Powder in the shade Chai 26. I'm going to use this to set my entire face. And I'm not gonna like go in, go in with it because we've already used the other powders. So I'm gonna start in the parts that I want to be deeper, that I don't want to be brightened. I'm just pressing this into the skin. That's another thing you see me do is a lot of pressing into the skin because I don't wanna move around what's already there. And that helps to build up 
the coverage that I have on my face by pressing my products in. Basically, you're layering on the makeup and light, thin layers so that you don't look cakey. Like, if you were to look at me in person, I actually don't look cakey at all because I used light layers. I didn't use as much foundation as I normally do. I'm doing light layers of powder, pressing into the skin so that it meshes in with my skin, not sit on top of the skin because that's what makes you look cakey. And I just feel like I just really need to go over my forehead just to make sure those creases don't come out. So those are the two things I don't like about this foundation. It's not super long wearing on me and it creases in my forehead lines, which I do not like. Okay, I think we're good with powder. Just don't forget to get your ears and under here. Okay. My face looks super bright on camera. So again, yeah, my cover girl was in uh, medium deep Q425. Bare Minerals in 26 Chai. And the NYX powder in 15 Chestnut. Those are the... I just dropped it. Did I break it? No, it's okay. Those are the three powders I just used to set my face. So that's like one of the biggest steps for me that I spend a lot of time on because I have oily skin. All right. So yeah, we're good. Everything is set. And as you can see, my face still has um, a very natural finish to it. As you can see, as I turn my head, you can see a natural sheen coming through. And that's one thing about the Huda Beauty Foundation. Like, it's not a super dry matte. It's like a natural matte finish. Like, it's not super dry. Sorry, my armpit itches. Okay. Getting hot. Okay. So, after this, I normally highlight my face and then I do my brows. And if I'm going to wear blush or contour, that would be next. But I'm not doing any contour today. Not going to wear any blush today. We're just going to highlight, do my brows, and then move on to the eyes and the lips, which is what we're focusing on because we're using Minted Cosmetics. I'm really excited for this palette. It's really perfect for every day. Like, I already have these shades in other palettes, but it's not all in one palette, which is one reason I wanted to get this palette, and I don't feel like it's a waste. I also wanted to support Black business. Like, that's kind of been my theme since this 2018 has started, is supporting Black businesses. Which is why I bought the three lipsticks and the everyday eyeshadow palette from Minted Cosmetics. So let's move on to highlight. That's the one thing I didn't choose. Yo, I have so many favorite, well not so many favorites. I have like a top three highlighters. And the Anne Breezy one is one that I love. And she's technically a woman of color. So I'm wondering should I use that one? I also love my Fenty though, which I get so many compliments. The kids love when I wear Fenty Trophy Wife. Because it's gold and it's glittery. It's literally like glitter. I like that one too. But I don't know what I'm feeling today. What am I feeling? What am I feeling? Let's use Jackie Ina La Peach. That's another black collab. And it's right here in front of me. So I don't have to go anywhere. It's easily accessible. Yes. This is one of her Diamond Glow powders. I got this from... I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm guessing Isokin Enofe. Isokin Enofe. Isokin Enofe. So this is the card with the information. Hopefully it's showing up. I think it's showing up backwards, isn't it? It's I-S-O-K-E-N-E-N-O-F-E dot com. Um, Jackie Ina is the one who put me on to this brand of bonnets and it is satin lined and they come in different sizes this is the extra large this is like the biggest one which is perfect for people that have a bunch of hair i mean look at that huge i don't know how to do all that drop the link y'all that's fancy i'm not good with technology even though i'm only 25 hold on how about if i flip the camera and show it to you will that work i don't know how to drop a link that's fancy i do this Oh, don't judge my bathroom. Will that work? Can you screenshot it? Can you take a picture? This is where the bonnet's from. You got a pen? Did you screenshot it? Did you take a picture? Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't know how to drop a link. That's real fancy technology stuff that Miss Ishman does not know how to do. 
But yeah, I love I love it. I mean, it's so cute. So so many different colors and patterns too. Love, love, love. All right, so we're gonna highlight with this Jackie Ina Lepeach. Oh yeah, girl, I've been up since four. Four. I've been up for an hour. I had to walk my dog. Yeah, teach your life. I understand. Thank you for tuning in when you just wake up. May you have a wonderful day. Look, I'm dropping stuff now. We're gonna highlight with Le Peach. And I'm using this brush from the It's My Ray Ray and BH Cosmetics collaboration. It's the number five. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. It's so pretty, yeah. This is perfect for today. I have a feeling that I might not make it to Dunkin' Donuts. And you know what? That's okay because I have my tea right now. I just really want some iced coffee. I haven't had coffee in a while. And the coffee that I make at home, if I drink it at a certain time, like if I don't drink it at the right time, it really makes my stomach upset. So I don't know if I need to switch brands or what, but yeah, it like really makes my stomach upset. Oh, I wish y'all could see the light needs to balance to something that's white. There we go. See, now you can see my true color shining through. Look at that. That's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I personally like Le Peach more than I like LeBron's. I have both because I got the little package. But yeah, I've been really like into supporting black collabs and black owned businesses. And I think that's something I plan to continue for the rest of my life. It's like if there's something that I want, I'm going to try and buy it black first. It's okay. Yeah, I don't know. It's like really strange. Like, I don't know. I've been having a lot of like gastrointestinal issues lately. Kind of, sort of. I don't know. I got food poisoning really bad a week ago, a week and a half ago. Yo, and like since then, I feel like I just haven't been right. And it's, it's okay though. Slowly making a comeback. Like I ate a Philly cheesesteak last night and I'm totally fine. So I feel like I'm pretty much back to normal. But that food poisoning was like, I'm not even, I'm not trying to over exaggerate, but I was so sick. I couldn't walk my dog. Like I couldn't really walk. I could hardly move. And I literally thought maybe that, you know, that could have been the end. Like, I was like, is this how my life is going to end? From food poisoning and dehydration? <laughs> I literally called my parents and I was like, if you don't hear from me tomorrow, it's because I've gone to be with the Lord and I need you to come get my dog and take care of her. Thank you. It was bad. It was bad. It was bad. I don't wish that upon anybody. Food poisoning is horrible. Like, it was... Ooh. I also like to highlight my problem with whatever highlighter I have on my face. Which we have a lot of highlight on. That's okay. That's okay. I'm trying to blend it, but it's okay. We could just be shiny. All right. So this is literally... My nose is sweating. That means, somebody told me that means that you're mean. My mom always tells me that. If your nose sweats, like, before anything else on my body sweats, my nose starts to sweat. Which supposedly means that I'm mean, which I can be mean. Well, can't everyone be mean? But, you know, I'm not a naturally mean person. Naturally sarcastic, yes. But I've had to tone that way down since becoming a teacher, so... <laughs> Because you shouldn't use sarcasm with kids. Because they don't, it goes over the, they don't know what's happening. And then basically you're making fun of them, which is rude and unprofessional. So, okay, I'm just kind of blending this out a little bit. Okay, we are done highlighting. Again, I use LeBron's in collaboration with Jackie Ina and Artist Couture. So then next I do my brows and then we're basically done with the face and then we can move on to eyes and lips, which I already know what I'm going to do. I keep dropping things like, hold on, got to pick this up. My lint roller. 
because you're never fully dressed without a few pet hairs if you're a pet owner. My dog sheds so much and she's a short haired little girl. I mean, y'all have seen Nola June, but she sheds so much. Like, dang, girl, get it together. I feel like I'm way, there's too much light on me because it looks like my face is like, doesn't match my body at all. So I'm gonna go in and brush up the little bit of brow hairs that I do have. Y'all seen that? I barely have brow hairs. Using this um, Ulta eyebrow pencil, the spoolie side. And then I'm going in with my Old, Faith, Old Faithful Wet n Wild Retractable Eyeliner Pencil in black, intense black, something black, but you're technically not supposed to use in your brows according to the makeup people, but I like black brows, so. Mm -hmm. and I just outline the bottom first and then I do the top and I fill it in like I really keep it super simple and I'm following the natural shape of what's already there I can't say that enough following the shape of what's already there this is not create a brow a brow that I don't already have. This is literally just enhance a brow. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> And the one thing that's cool about this is because I do have brow hairs, like it looks to me pretty natural besides the fact that it's dark. But you can see my hair is shining through the pencil, which is one reason I love to use pencil because I feel like it looks more natural. I mean, look at the difference. Oh no, my eyes doing this weird watering thing. Uh oh. Today might not be a good eyeshadow day. My eye will water upward. Do you see that? How it's like creasing the foundation powder that's already on my lid? Oh no. This happens a lot during the spring for me. It's like allergies. Hopefully it will be okay. I'm praying it'll be okay. I'm just gonna leave it, like you see how it's like patchy. It's okay though. It's gonna get covered up, but it might just get messed up throughout the day, which is fine, because I don't have to work. But um, for the most part, I don't even wear eyeshadow to work like that, unless I have the time to do it like I do today. And if I have a, a plan for what I'm going to do. Can y'all hear my stomach growl? So back to this Philly cheesesteak. I got a giant from uh, Jersey Mike's. I used to work at Jersey Mike's. Um, I got a giant so that I could eat half last night and half for lunch today because your girl, I just don't feel like cooking. Like I go through phases where it's like, I'm so excited to meal prep for the week and get all the ingredients and whatnot. And then there's other weeks where I'm just like, I don't even make it to the grocery store to get the ingredients to even meal prep. So I do have something I want to try making. I saw on Twitter and it looked really easy. I'm like, I can do that. But then again, I have to get all the ingredients. That might be for the week after spring break. My eyes itching now. <laughs> Okay, the brows are basically done. 
Why do I look like this light is too much? That's a little bit better. But yeah, my brows are done. Sometimes I go in and set them with an old mascara. Sometimes I don't. It just kind of depends on how I feel and like how dark they are. Like if I feel like they're dark enough, then sometimes I don't set them. They're slightly different shapes, which is normal. Especially for somebody who doesn't have a lot of eyebrow hair. Like they're slightly different, but that's okay with me. Okay, we're done with brows. I don't feel like setting them with the powder. I feel like there's something in my eye in the one that is watering right now. There's like a hair or something dangling. Okay, brows are done. Yeah, like I just feel like this foundation does not last on my skin. Like I already feel like I'm starting to get a little oily in my T-zone, just in my T-zone. Right, uh-huh, right, staring at my face. Like it's already trying to play me. Huda, don't play me. All right, let's move on to the eyes, which is what you're here for, I'm sure. So I have the Minted Cosmetics palette. It's their everyday eyeshadow palette. It's a really nice size. As you can see, it's like as big as my face. It's a square. It says Minted, it has a cute leaf on it. Protective plastic. Giant mirror, like really big mirror. And those are the colors. So I think it's three shimmers and nine mattes. <laughs> I can't do math. Three shimmers, six mattes. Yeah, really, really pretty. Really nice for every day. We're going to do a super simple look. Really quick, really easy. And I have the names of the shadows come on a separate sheet. Okay, so we're going to start with the shade called Red Bone, which is a beautiful crease color. And we're using minimal brushes for this look because y'all know how to roll. We're going to take the shade Red Bone, which is this one right here, that orangey warm brown. As our transition shade, ooh, the pigmentation is nice. I can tell. Just throw it up in your crease, the upper crease. There's some other shadow on here. It's okay though, we're gonna keep it moving. Oh no, I need to wipe this off because it's black shadow. I was like, what look did I do last with this brush? A smoky eye. So I'm gonna wipe that off and resume. I'm just building up red bone. Like I said, this is gonna be a really fast, really simple, easy look, everyday look, everyday eyeshadow palette. And the same thing over here. So the pigmentation is really nice. Um, the formula of these is more of like a dry formula, but it's still really smooth. I didn't swatch it, I didn't touch it, so I don't know if it's buttery, but like on the eye, it feels really nice. And it blends really nice. And the pigmentation is really nice. I'm really liking it. So yeah, just throw that in there and just blend it out. So transition shade is done. Now we're gonna deepen up the crease. There's some kickback in the pan because I went a little too hard in there. You don't need to do what I did. We're going to deepen up the crease using the shade called Queen Sugar, which is right next to Red Bone. It's like a plum brownie color right there. This one. Same brush. Oh, yeah, that's really pretty. I'm focusing this on the outer V area and then like a little bit into the crease, but keeping it on the outermost part of my eye. As you can see with the same brush. I'm also putting some of it like on my lid, on the outer half of my lid and I'm just tapping it on. I 
but that's a good tip if you're trying to like build up color with a brush that isn't necessarily for like putting color on the lid just tap the color on and then start to blend my stomach is growling I don't really feel hungry though I just really want some iced coffee <laughs> Okay. We're going to go in. I'm building it up even more. All right. I'm going to wipe off the brush again. Going back into Redbone to blend out the edges. Blending right over the edges of this look. Just so that that transition shade doesn't get lost in the mix. Alright, time for the lid color, which is going to be Second Date, which is a beautiful bronze shade. And it's on the outermost corner. That one, which is this one. Boom. It's a shimmer, it's bronzy. I'm gonna take my finger. Wow, that pigmentation is good. I'm gonna apply this on my lid, focusing it on like the first half of my lid and lightly blending it into the outer part of my lid with the, the uh, shade Queen Sugar. The pigmentation is bomb in this palette. Really nice texture quality. This is great for their first eyeshadow palette. Really nice. And yes, I normally apply my lid colors with my finger because minimal brushes, minimal time. And I mean, you get the perfect blend I feel with your finger as well. Like you can control exactly where it goes. This eye is a little bit brighter, I think, because that moisture that was on my lid from my eye tearing up from my allergies, but that's okay. Yeah, you see how this one's like a little bit, just popping a little bit more than this eye. So you could just wet your brush or your finger, whatever your uh, preference is, if you want to brighten it up. But I don't really want to do all that because we're keeping it simple. I'm going to take the brush I used to apply that transition shade, whatever's left over, just blending out the edges of this inner portion of the eye. And yo, that's it for the lid. We got a beautiful, simple, everyday look. Let's do the lower lash line in the inner corner. For the lower lash line, I'm going to take the shade Queen Sugar that we used to deepen up the crease on this little brush from Coastal Scents. I'm going to apply that along my entire lower lash line. Let's be a little smoky. Oh, I forgot this had black on it. So why is this coming off a little darker than what it should be? Because I had some black on my brush. It's really like a true like plummy brown shade. I'm gonna apply that all on the lower lash line. I'm going like three fifths the way in. And if you want to use it to do some blending or touching up in the outer V area, that's what I normally do at this time. All right, for the inner corner, we're going to go on with the shade First Date, which is this beautiful shimmer right here. It's gold right there. I'm just going to throw that in the inner corners using the same brush. And 
and this is very reminiscent of something I would do for school if I wanted to be a little fancy. With my eye makeup, which we're doing today. Time, I need to figure out what time it is. I could look on my laptop, but that would take time for me to get up and go over there. I think I'm okay on time. Yeah, it's just, what, 6.05? I'm over here on the East Coast, South Kakalaki, right on the border of South Carolina and Georgia. Okay, that's it for the eyes. I really like the way this look came out. All I need to do is add mascara. So if you're looking for a nice everyday eyeshadow palette and you love neutral colors and you like mattes with a few shimmers, I feel like this is a great option. And it's only $28. It's not like I'm a sponsored video, but I'm really not. I think it's a great palette. I like the way it blended, the way it applied. The pigmentation is really, really nice. I got this really fast, quick, easy, simple eye look in like no time. For mascara, I'm going to wear the Essence Lash Princess and False Lash Effect. I really like this mascara. Yeah, this eye is already creasing where my eye is leaking, where my eye is watering, and that's okay. I kind of knew that would happen. I'm just going to go in with a quick coat of this mascara. Like I said, I'm not trying to be super, like, look at that, though, the difference. Super dramatic with my mascara today. I really like this mascara. The Essence mascaras are really, really nice. They're really good. And this is only like $4.99, this mascara. Weren't you married? Wasn't I married? Ha! No. I've never been married in my whole entire life. There was someone who wanted to marry me when I was 20 years old. His name is Josh. I dated him for a while. Uh, he wanted to marry me, but he's atheist, so we just remain distant friends. He'll probably be married soon. He has a beautiful Asian girlfriend. Shout out to Josh. My first, I'll call him my first true love. Like, it was serious serious but I'm serious about my relationship with the Lord and wanting to raise my children with somebody who has a relationship with the Lord and if you're atheist how can that happen you see so I had to you know we had to cut that off real quick <laughs> may I hope I'll be married by the time I'm like 32 That sounds good. I don't like to have a kid when I'm like my first kid. If I have kids, I'm cool not having kids. Like I've accepted that maybe whoever I'm supposed to be with don't want no kids. And that's okay because I'm a teacher. So I'm around them all the time. But um, yeah. Psh, he's no, I tried. He's not interested. You can't force anyone who's not interested. You know what I'm saying? Which shows me that it's not meant to be. I'm 25. So I have time. I got plenty of time. But I would like to have a kid at 30, my first one between 30 and 32. So if they want more, we can have more because I'm not having no babies past 37. No babies past 37. No babies past 37. I just feel like with the way my energy is now, I'm like, I'm not going to have no energy then. <laughs> like, bruh. Yeah, look, my eyes leaking. I hate when this happens to me. It happens in the spring. And there's really like no way to fix it because it's going to keep leaking all day and keep messing up my makeup. Yeah, 25 is still young. It's really up to my partner. I'm very open to like having kids. I'm very open to not having kids. It can go either way, depending on whoever I end up marrying, whatever they want, you know, they want some kids. Cool. They don't. Cool. 
because I have a sister and I'm pretty sure my sister will have children. So that means like my parents can have their grandchildren. My parents already have their grand dog, Nola June, who they love and spoil already. Like she is a human. So, you know, it's all good. I'm really not even impressed about it at this point in my life. Okay, I have all mascara. Let's do the lips and we're done and we're out of here. Like, bro, I'm sweating. My face is hot. Ugh, yo. I guess that means I'm mean. That's what my mom would say. Is that a Southern thing? I don't know. I'm not really Southern. My mother is Southern. I'm not. Okay, so I got three lipsticks and I don't think I want to wear the shade Nude La La. I already picked it. But they come in these boxes oh yeah yeah your sister already like took care of it for everybody doo, 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 doo. yeah I want to keep my last name too because my dad has no sons so I'll just go from Miss Ishman to Mrs. Ishman I don't know if I want to hyphenate we'll see depends on who this person is and what their last name is if I want to add it to mine <laughs> it's just a name so this is the shade Foxy Brown, I also got Dark Knight, and then the shade Nude La La. Let's go ahead and put on Nude La La so I can put on some clothes La La and get to work La La. And do my hair La La, which is just in a ponytail, so I'm like, well, it wasn't a ponytail. We're gonna put it back in a ponytail. Yeah, this is my hair. Okay, Nude La La, this is what it looks like. It's pretty. Ooh, this is really, ooh, really creamy. Do y'all hear my stomach? So loud. My stomach is trying to get me to go to Dunkin' Donuts. These are really creamy, like moisturizing. So yeah, this is the lip I'm gonna wear today. Nude La La from Minty Cosmetics. Just a nice bullet lipstick. You can see the oils from my hands are on the packaging. Yeah. So this is the look. I really like it. I wish the light would balance a little better. There we go. So you can see. Really easy, really simple. And I'm literally just going to put my hair into a ponytail and put on some clothes and go. Like I may not even re-slick my edges because... It's just work. Just going to teach the kids. But yeah, this is my hair. It's wash and go hair. Okay. Thank y'all for watching. Have a terrific Tuesday. See you in the next video. Check out these products from Minted Cosmetics. Check out Isino Elfe. Isokin Enofe. Isokin Enofe. For a bonnet. And Jackie Anna LeBron's and all the other collaborations and stuff that I use in this video, Black Radiance, all other stuff. Huda Beauty, all that good stuff. Support women of color, support black owned businesses. I'm out. <laughs>